All right, so uh, we all know that Belgium has too many drugs. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> too much, uh, too much cocaine. Not enough incineration technique, and apparently they have too much hair now. Heroin? Hair? Oh no, just hair. no, just actual <laughs> hair. Now they probably have too much heroin too. Oh, wow. For all I know, but uh, as you can clearly see here, we have a gentleman by the name of Patrick Janssen. And he is co-founder, <laughs> and this is like this is like really stupid to me. Your organization is called Dung Dung, like okay. poop poop. Yeah, yeah. Poop, poop. But then I looked it up a little bit, and I found out that like Dunglish is like a mixture of like Dutch and and wait before you tell me that I'm wrong. Dutch and uh, English, like I guess there's a Dutch speaking part of Belgium. Okay. Yeah. So I actually didn't get these two confused this time, but yeah. So they. So are it's like Spanglish, but with <laughs> Dutch. <laughs> yeah. Dung, okay. Dunglish, but that that's the only like connection I could find between the word dung that wasn't poop. Yeah. And it actually had to do with Belgian stuff. So I don't know. Maybe if you're from Belgium, you can help me out and tell me how uh, right on I was. But yeah, they're making uh, hair into these giant squares. Which, if you go over to the other picture there, it okay. shows this guy holding this giant squ- hair square. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's for like what? For carpeting in for welcome. schools or yeah. something? <laughs> welcome, Matt. It could be an yeah. indoor outdoor carpet. I don't know why they don't do it for that. It'd be because gross, no one but... wants to walk on other people's <laughs> hair all yeah. day. I guess they're going to be putting them in like specialized drains or something. And what they do is they absorb oil. And like oh, hydrocarbons okay. and shit like that. So right, it's like yeah, a giant. Like I know filter. hair is very absorbent. Right? Yeah, uh, okay. for sure. That's why you got to wash it every well, now and then. Because I was going to ask <laughs> you if they make like, you know, human skin like lamps or something too. Oh, okay, <laughs> Buffalo Bill. <laughs> well, I mean, because until you told me what they used them for, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I thought they were just doing it so they could put it in like that machine where it like they'd close the door and it'd turn into a toy. They're just like a big thing of hair gives you a much bigger toy. <laughs> This is how you get a PlayStation out of one of those. What? I have no idea what you're talking you about. You never had that when you were a kid? There was, like, a, like if you went to, like, the chain places that did, like, kids' haircuts, there would be a thing where they'd, after you got your haircut, they'd take, like, <laughs> yeah. a piece of your hair and drop it in there, and then there was, like, another door they would open, and it what? was supposed to be, like, your hair turned into, like, <laughs> one of those, like, little, like, rubber guys with, like, the bouncy arms that would go on your fingertip or something, like, stupid like that. Like, the prizes you oh, would get, like, great. the Dennis or the doctor's office uh, or somebody. Wow, really? Yeah. That's hilarious. You drop this in there and you get a Nintendo DS. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. 